Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. And this is with Bar Sound Bourbon Company, the newest collaborative series. Woo! We are ready to have some fun. So um, this is actually, I think the first time that, at least that I know of, that Bar Sound has actually partnered with a cooperage and even dedicated one of their actual products to this cooperage. So they partnered with the West Virginia Great Barrel Company. So when you think of the West Virginia Great Barrel Company, from like a technology standpoint, they are very much, honestly, I mean, it's almost like a great partnership. They're very similar to Bar Sound for the standpoint of using like cutting edge, doing things a little bit different, right? Um, so for this cooperage, they use a lot of like different technology as it relates like to charring their barrels and so forth, where Bar Sound, they're known for being just, you know, they blend great whiskey, they kind of bring it all together, and they are truly experts as it relates like to the science behind the, the whiskey and so forth and bringing in uh, uh, different whiskeys together and blending them as a whole so I think it's pretty cool uh, when they send this over and thank you by the way I should say for bars down for giving this sample over to me sending it over to me um, I do appreciate it so I will say so for first and foremost this bad boy is brand new hot off the press came out about I think it's like a week and a half almost two weeks ago so currently it's only available at the distillery, but we all know how a lot of their different series kind of get released. They're available at the distillery. And then they start to kind of spread all the way across the rest of the world and uh, across the rest of the US. All right, cool. Let me get into this nose. I poured a little bit already. Um, and I will say, I poured a little bit in my affinity bottle. You guys know me. <laughs> I also, in addition to my affinity bottle, I had to take just a very small little sample of it as well, just to kind of, you know, check out the goods, right? Check out the goods, if you will. All right. So what do we know? So this Cooperage with the West Virginia Great Barrel Company, uh, essentially, so they use, which is definitely different. Um, again, this great uh, barrel company out of West Virginia, they use cherry wood barrels that was toasted with infrared technology. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> <laughs> cherry wood barrels that was toasted with infrared technology so they really change it up number one they use cherry wood barrels but then they also use this infrared technology right not the actual natural fire and so forth so i love that that's pretty cool oh man this nose is so cool so different goodness gracious oh, all right all right so when you think about the mash bill so now this is where there might be a smidge of controversy. So if you look at Bar Sound Bourbon Company's, their actual website, it says that, and I'm gonna say, read it right here. It says that it's a blend of six year uh, rye whiskey that they source from Indiana, more than likely MGP, and it's a 95.5 rye whiskey. So 95% rye, 5% malt to barley. And then they did blend in just a little bit of uh, Canadian corn whiskey, 100% corn whiskey from Canada. Now the controversy comes in the card that they sent over. It says, as you guys can see it right there, seven year MGP rye whiskey. So we don't know what mystery is, is it, right? There's a mystery of course. Is it six year MGP rye or is it seven year MGP rye? Let's just go ahead and call it six and a half year. We'll, we'll, we'll cut it in the middle, right? So let's call it six and a half year uh, MGP rye whiskey. Um, but it does come in at exactly at 110 proof. Now again, it's now this one again from a price standpoint, definitely a little bit up there from a price standpoint. With these collaborative series, it's always going to a little bit be a little bit more because obviously there's a lot more that goes into it uh, from a technology standpoint, from a blending, sourcing, and so forth. So the MSRP is $160. Let me go ahead and get to this nose real quick. Whew, jeez Louise. So even in the couple days that I've had this, and I've had, actually had it open. The nose has changed a little bit. Oh my gosh. I wasn't sure exactly what to get with the whole cherry wood because you are, at the end of the day, they're taking, again, six and a half year rye whiskey for the most part. They did add in a little bit of 12 year old Canadian corn whiskey. So you have like the sweetness from that corn whiskey from Canada, but you have the spiciness from the MGP rye whiskey, right? They're kind of bringing them together, but then again, they're using these cherry wood oak barrels with that infrared technology to kind of char the barrel. So I wasn't really sure how this was gonna all kind of come together as a whole, but I will tell you off the nose, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is straight up delicious. Oh my gosh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. So this nose by far reminds me of like Thanksgiving. I get tons of like 
apple notes like apple pie i get tons of like cherry notes uh even a little bit of, like some strawberry notes as well and even like some uh some cinnamon kind of just kind of all just kind of mixed up and even a little bit of pear as well oh my gosh thanksgiving is on my mind Whew! another month away here we come oh this is different but this is so cool this is extremely unique all right 160 dollar whiskey 100 proof again it just came out so it's starting to make its way out across the u.s right obviously first now at the distillery but eventually we will all see it all right my friends here we go real quick three quick easy favors number one hit the like button number two drop me a comment let me know what are your thoughts on this collaborative series and last but not least please make sure you also hit the subscribe button try to get to 10,000 subscribers i am like literally like uber close so i need your help my friends please hit the subscribe button now all right here we go Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. This is completely different than anything I've had probably in all of 2022 for sure. Let me get a little bit more. Ooh. Mm. Wow, that's different. So the question is, Judge, is that a good different or a bad different? So I will say number one, everything from the nose transfers to the palate. Every single thing, the apple notes, the pear notes, the cherry notes, uh, a little bit of the strawberry notes, but then also the cinnamon as well. I love the, uh, again, using the technology of the, the cherry wood barrels. I love how they kind of brought all that to, to kind of come together with the rye whiskey, but then they also blended in some of that Canadian corn whiskey as well. That's completely unique. Also, what I like about this, it had an extremely nice and long finish. It was long, bold, and robust, but also very well rounded at the same time. So the verdict is judge. If I see this at the distillery or eventually when I see it in my local shop, am I buying it and the reason why? Or do I leave it on the shelf and the reason why? The verdict is in, my friends. This is absolutely straight up. Hold off. Hold on. It is a split decision. Let me explain why. For me personally, when I do see this, I am buying a bottle. Let me be clear. I love this. I think it's absolutely unique and it is completely different than your average standard whiskey, rye whiskey, or even like a bourbon as well that you'll see on the market as a whole. It kind of reminds me almost like a, almost like a stepbrother, if you will, of the barrel seagrass. I'm not saying it's exactly like barrel. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying the fact that barrel seagrass was completely like unique. It wasn't your standard rye whiskey because it was finished in the, the Martinique uh, rum barrels, the brandy and the Madeira. This is such a unique product also as well. So if you like a more of a unique type of uh, whiskey, blended whiskey, I would say absolutely go for this. It's wonderful. I love all the different notes. It's honestly like Thanksgiving in a bottle absolutely fantastic however i'll even speak for a lot of my patrons i know some of my patrons are like judge i straight up love a standard bourbon or a standard rye give me you know your standard rye all day long give me even like a i'll think of like a wild turkey like a russell's for example bottle a bourbon all day long i don't like any finish or blended whiskeys then if you're that kind of a person i would say hold off this is not for you hey my friends until the next time Peace, cheers, salute, much love and respect. Take care. See ya. We, of course, obviously the, the let me start over. I don't like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> ah, going crazy. <laughs> That's what happens when you drink a little bit of whiskey before you start recording. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm trying to get serious. <laughs> All right.